Time to play with some clay. All right, I finally figured out what was wrong with my camera. I had an update just before I started sculpting yesterday afternoon. And it had to download and all that stuff. And it reset everything on my friggin' cam uh, camera. Or on my uh, camera connection. So I had to go uh, online, see how to reconnect to my GoPro. And found out that... Uh, it wasn't all that hard. So I got it reconnected. Now I can see what I'm doing on my cell phone. That's why it was not showing up is because uh, cell phone wasn't uh, attuned to my camera. So anyway, I'm able to see the camera and see where I, I've got it angled now much better. And so I'm going to be doing this with one camera, and I reset the uh, wide angle to more of a, uh, not quite as wide. It's, this one compensates for the uh, fisheye effect. So that's a lot better than what I had before. So in the long run, it worked. I want to soften that line right there. A little bit. As you can see, I got my cell phone on, and that's why that way I can keep track of what you're seeing. I've got to tilt this a little bit so I can see the uh, nose more directly on. So I'm going to come right back. Okay, it's going to be hard to see me working on this nose. For some reason, my hands are in the way. <laughs> it could be the fact that I've got this on my neck. All right, I'll come back after I get the uh, nose worked out. I'd like to ask you guys something as uh, if you wouldn't mind doing. If you like my video or videos and you watch them, click the like button or the up thumbs button. It would really help me in the long run. And I would really appreciate it. Thank you. I also have some, about nine instructional DVDs that uh, I have uh, for sale. And uh, if you're interested in trying to learn something about sculpting, uh, you might take a look and see what I've got. I've got a link to the uh, review of all nine in my video description below this video.
I know a lot of you may have sculpted it one time and gave it up. And I get people telling me all the time that uh, I've inspired them to try it again. And they broke out their tools and uh, their clay. And if you're one of those and you need a little refresher on how to do some things, I take advantage of the uh, 40 years of my uh, sculpting to uh, help you. Those uh, instructional DVDs will help a lot. Now I know you can't see what I'm doing inside this leg, so I apologize for that. But like I said before, I'm not gonna worry too much about the, this side of the animal because it's gonna be facing the uh, figure and it won't be seen. And uh, if I sell some copies, then before I take it to the foundry, I'll uh, get this side of the uh, dog finished. But right now, I just don't see any reason to do that. It would take too much time, and I want to get this to Jackson Hole, Wyoming, Thursday. And I got some stuff to do on the figure first before I can do that. All right, I'm working on the tail. I've uh, trimmed it down a little bit. As you can see in the uh, photograph, uh, it has a curved tail. Now this one is way up in the air. I decided to put it down on his body just to make it easier for the people to cast it in bronze. I could lift it up a little bit, but I'm not going to do that. I decided to make the uh, dog a male and I added his uh, organs before I turned on the camera because if there are any kids watching, I just didn't think uh, I wanted to do that with kids watching. Yeah, that's... Uh, American Dingo is also known as the uh, Carolina dog. If, uh, I've said this before, but uh, people sometimes tune in my videos well into my creating of these uh, pieces. So I'll remind you that the uh, Carolina dog, if you were a y young kid and you watched the movie Old Yeller, the Disney movie, the old yeller was a Carolina dog, which I find interesting. I'm going to have to watch that movie again if I can find it in some place. Kind of hard to find good old movies nowadays because Netflix does not carry them. YouTube does, though. From what I've seen, they've carried a lot of movies, but you have to sometimes pay for them. But that's just a nominal fee for that.
All right, I'm going to call it quits on the dog for now. And I'm going to start working on the uh, warrior's hand. I'm going to put the dog back on the base. And uh, I've lowered my sculpting stand so that I can work on the man's hand, which will be right there. The robe he's got over his head, which he had wrapped around himself, is going to go between his thumb and his uh, fingers, which will come out here on the rock. And uh, if I can't show this well um, on this camera on my neck, I will switch over to uh, my swing arm uh, mounts that I have. So this is where we are at with this clay so far. And uh, <laughs> cutting boards are coming in conflict with my uh, table. I'm going to move my table back a little bit. But I'm, I'm not happy the way it's turning out. And like I said, I've got little shiny areas of uh, aluminum foil i got to cover up before I take this to the, uh, the gallery. And I'll let them know that there's still work to be done on the uh, dog and, and the warrior and the base. But... Uh, it's supposed to be unfinished anyway. All right, good night, everybody, and I'll see you next week. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.